All right, so today we're going to look at functions and function blocks. Um, we're going to start with functions, and then another video will be function blocks. So a function only has one output. Um, so for example, if I was doing some analog scaling, I would have three inputs, the raw analog input, the high scale, and the low scale. And then that would kick out one result being the scaled analog value. A function block, you can have multiple inputs, multiple outputs. You can have in and outputs. Um, and we can look at that in the next video. So let's take a look at functions. So we're going to add a function. I'm going to call it AI scaling. And then we're going to open it and I'm going to do a structured text. Um, so let's go to the variables. We're going to pin that and then we'll go to the code. So the first thing we're going to do is add our inputs. So we know that from the PLC, we're going to end up with a word. So we're going to do W AI input. And that's going to be a word and that's going to be an input. And we're going to do a real number for the low scale and a real number for the high scale. So we're going to go R uh, low scale. And that's going to be a real with an input. And then we're going to do R high scale. Also a real number and also an input. Now what they don't tell you is that and the output is the name of the function block. It took me a little while to figure this out, but if we do AI scaling equals, and then we actually need to get from a word to a real number. So we're going to do to real and then to int, because you can't go directly from a word to a real number. And then we're going to put this WAI input. So now we've converted it to a real number. We're going to need to divide it by the scale. From a previous video, we know that that's 30,000. Um, after that, we need to multiply it by the scale itself. So we're going to do R high scale minus R low scale. And then because the low scale might not be zero, we're going to actually add the low scale to the number. Uh, that way, if you had, say, a 4 to 20 milliamp input, um, you would end up with the right output. Um, AI scaling. Oh, it's because I have the function block named wrong. So let's... Rename this real quick to AI scaling. And that should solve my problem. Um, now it's giving me an error that AI scaling is a bool. That's because under settings, you have to set the output. Um, right now it's set to a Boolean. We need to set it to a real number. Once we do that, that should solve all of our errors. So that's an important step is setting the output of your block. So now that we've built this function, let's go ahead and put it into our program. So we're in the analog IO section. We already have our word attached externally to my card. So let's go ahead and drop this function in. So we'll have to come up with an output. So we'll do test AI. We'll do equals, and then let's see here. We'll get rid of this, and so we need a word as the input. So the word is going to be EAI1. The real number for the low scale, we're going to do 0.0 because .0 we're going to scale a 0 to 10 volt input. And then real on the high scale is going to be 10.0 because again, we're just scaling a zero to 10 input. It's telling me my variable doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and make a local variable. And now we're done. We've inserted our function block. 
we have our one output and now we can write and start the project. So now that the controller's loaded the project, we're gonna go to IO testing, we're gonna go to analog IO, and you'll notice as I adjust my voltage on my power supply, we get a result that matches. Um, so very simple. You can have multiple inputs, but one output. There, you cannot have multiple outputs. You can't have in and outs. You can only have one output. So that's just a quick look at functions versus function blocks.